Well, Harley has finally done it. They've released the new 2023 Road Glide and Street Glide CVOs. Hang out and let's take a look at these new bikes and the changes that Harley has made to these iconic models. Hello and welcome to Road Rush Nation. I'm Terry, your host here, and thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the channel. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. If you'd like to be a member of the nation, it's free. All you need to do is hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss out on any of the upcoming episodes. Okay, we finally have the new CVOs. There was the leaked photos that we had at the beginning of the year, and now we finally have these amazing new CVOs, the Road Glide and the Street Glide. So now let's get into the details of what Harley has done and upgraded and changed. Let's talk fairings. It's the first thing that you're gonna notice is a big change. Though the Street Glide has retained the iconic T-shape, the silhouette of the fairing has been updated, but you'll also notice that the split stream vent has now been fully integrated into the design of the fairing. There's the new LED lighting, which really makes it stand out from any other Street Glide that's out there. And also, it's got the amber LED turn signals that are integrated into the left and right lamp elements, so you've got those sides. So now that means you've eliminated any of those turn signals that you had previously. Now the Road Glide still has that shark nose design, but with a few upgrades. And the first thing you're going to notice is that single LED headlight that's wide and it has a horizontal shape. You'll see that it's got that W shape, which kind of gives it a new signature look, but it also has those amber turn signals. Lamps are integrated with those outer portions of the new lighting. And much like the Street Glide, eliminates those previous little bullet turn signals. So those are gone. It's time to talk about this motor. The new Milwaukee 8 Variable Valve Timing 121. This 121 cubic inch 45 degree V-twin engine gives approximately 8% more torque and 9.5% more horsepower than the V-twin cooled Milwaukee 8 117 engine. It's equipped with a optimized liquid cooled cylinder heads and it has a new cooling system to it that the variable valve timing and a new intake track. The torque on this is 139 pounds per foot, torque at 3000 RPM. They've improved the cooling system on this to focus on the exhaust valve. So this is gonna help keep things cooler when you're doing low speed riding. So it's redesigned four valve cylinder heads incorporate new channels for coolant flow around the exhaust valve areas. And an electric pump circulates the coolant solution first to the hotter rear cylinder head, then to the front cylinder head, and then to a new heat exchanger located low on the front of the frame and backed by a thermostatic controlled fan. Airflow from the fan is then directed below the motorcycle for enhanced rider and passenger comfort. So this is going to help get some of that heat off of you when you're sitting at low speeds and having to walk along and stuck in traffic. Next thing you're going to like is let's talk the weight. The dry weight of these motorcycles has changed significantly. By 31 pounds for the CBO Street Glide, it's lighter, and by 35 pounds for the Road Glides. So compared to other models that they replace, this is a lot lighter. So for those of you worried about weight, now you've got lighter. One of the bad things is, one of the things that was affected by this is the bags. The bags are a little smaller. They went off of an inspired design from the king of baggers and all the racing baggers to make them a little smaller, more sleek, and you'll see there's a lot less wind drag on that. You'll see that there's new brake system too by Brembo. Now Brembo is very big in the automotive world and you'll see some of the big manufacturers like, oh, Porsche, Ferrari use Brembo's along with Ford and GM. They're known for taking um, more heat and making their brake pads more efficient. Now it's time for the suspension. Yep, they've made some massive improvements and you'll notice the inverted fork design to promote that confident handling by keeping the tire in contact with the road surface. 
The front suspension travel is 4.60 inches. And the rear suspension travel has been improved also. It's 3.0 inches, a 50% increase in travel compared to the previous year's CVOs. Okay, now you can select ride modes. Yep, you heard that right. You've got ride modes that are electronically control the performance characteristics of the motorcycle and the level of technology intervention. So you've got three different ones. Each ride mode consists of a specific combination of power delivery, engine braking, cornering, anti-lock braking systems, and cornering traction control system settings. So the rider can use the hand control mode button to change the active ride mode while riding the motorcycle or when you're stopped. So the first one is the road mode, and that's in intended for your daily use. So that's road mode delivers balance performance and all that good stuff, which is a little different and than what you're, the next mode, which is the sport mode. And I can see a lot of people trying to use the sport mode. That maximizes the rider's connection to the motorcycle. The rider can experience full performance potential of the motorcycle. So it's gonna, the traction control is set to its lowest level of intervention and the engine braking is increased. Then there's the rain mode. And this mode is designed to give the greater confidence when riding in the rain. Makes sense, right? So your throttle response and power output are programmed to significantly restrain the rate of acceleration, engine braking is limited, and the highest levels of the ABS and CTS interventions are selected. Then you've also got a custom mode, and that's where you, and you've got two of them actually available, you can decide how you want your bike to be set up, and that gives you two custom modes. So you really have three, but five, because you've got two custom modes. Okay, and here comes the biggie, the new infotainment system. And it's got um, a Skyline OS system is how that whole thing works. And it's got the big screen. You'll notice that there's no more analog speedometers, nothing to tell you what's going on. Now, I'm gonna tell you, I'm not really thrilled with this. And let me explain why when we get into these big screens. It's fantastic as far as being able to use this no matter what the conditions are, whether you've got gloves on or not. That's awesome. I happen to work in the IT field in an international company and I work risk management. And one of the things we always have a problem with is outdated technology. It goes end of life. You've only got a few life cycles within it. And how long is this going to this technology going to be available for upgrades. We have a new Bronco and we're constantly getting upgrades that we have to program into the system. You connect your phone, downloads, boom, sets it up. Now that's one nice thing is because you can do that now on your own rather than going to the dealership all the time. But it's still the life cycle is gone. And what happens if that system goes down? And it's not a Harley system, it's by Skyline which I have not really been able to find much information on them. The only Skyline that I discovered was out of the UK and they primarily do automotive. Now I hope, I hope I'm completely wrong on this and that it's a great system that'll give years and years and years of use, but I don't see that because that's just not how technology works. You've got to constantly upgrade. Look at your iPhones and how in a few cycles, it can no longer upgrade. Those are the concerns I have. But also just for all you people that are talk about Apple CarPlay, that will automatically, you can apply that through the display, not a problem. Android, you're gonna have problems. You always do, that's proprietary. That's just the things that, are, that you always run across a problem with. You'll be able to hook up HomeLink um, so that you can, in, that's only in North America. You'll be able to hook up HomeLink so that you can have your garage door opener set up to that so no more clunkies as far as having a separate uh, button for those. Accessories. Let's already talk about accessories. Harley already has a line of accessories available for each of these CVOs. From a heavy breather to a Screaming Eagle air cleaner with an extreme wedge to different speakers, Rockford Fosgate Stage 3 saddlebag speakers to wind splitters, which kind of tells me that there may be mm, a few problems with the buffeting on these. Now they say that it's decreased the buffeting by 60%, but that's all relative. But you, they do have wind splitters that's going to increase, not increase, it'll decrease the buffeting for you. So you've got the wind, wind splitters that will help decrease that buffeting. So that's good to know. Okay, 
time to get to the biggies. Let's talk about the price. Now, there's two f- different paint jobs that this can come in. And one is the, the first paint scheme is the dark platinum with bright smoke sat- satin. And then you have the whiskey neat raven metallic, which is really a cool looking. I'm going to tell you that the first one, the dark platinum, is going to be your base price. And then there's an extra $6,000 for the whiskey neat. And here's the kicker. The price of these bikes. All right, here it comes. The price of these bikes, the base MSRP is $42,999, $43,000. That's going to be for the gray. If you want the whiskey, add $6,000, lots of money. That does not include all the additional fees that you're going to have, shipping and so on, depending on where you're at. And you're going to have dealer markup. So look at 50 plus for these bikes. I'm being realistic. Now, they're not supposed to show up to dealerships till mid-July, so I can't get my hands on one to get a real close-up yet. And I hope to when they come out, because I do want to see. There's a lot more features on these bikes than I can go through with. So make sure that I will get a chance later in the summer to check one out. So if you want to be able to see that video, make sure you hit like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you become a member of the nation and don't miss any upcoming episodes. Thanks for hanging out and checking out the new CVOs. And remember, ride safe, and I hope to catch you on the highways.